In this video, we're going to go over how to properly print a Revit file to PDF. Um, you can notice in this uh, example I have up right now that the border of the sheet doesn't actually go all the way to the border of the page. And before I do that, I just want to recommend using QPDF. Um, the only reason why I do that is it's such a lightweight PDF tool and, and you're going to just want to hit this button right here, the free download for the QPDF writer. It is the easiest PDF um, software to use and it, it basically does it without any hassles and it does it very fast, which is why I use that. So let's get started here. So we have a bunch of sheets um, and this student has set up a title block for those sheets. Um, to print them to PDF, we're going to want to do a couple things. So the first thing is we're going to do is we're going to hit this print button up here. And we want to combine multiple um, sheets of views into a single file. So that's this first button here. And under uh, the name, we want it to be QPDF. Um, the next thing we want to do is select the print range. We're going to click the Selected Views and Sheets button here. And I'm just going to click Check None. And I'm going to turn off Views because really we only want to print the sheets. And usually when I'm doing this, I'll always save it as... Uh, a name, so I'm going to call this Design Sheets. Uh, I'm put an S there. I'll just add that quickly. Uh, design Sheets, and then we'll just click OK. And the most important thing is we want to go into the settings here, and we want to click Setup. And our paper size um, tabloid or 11 by 17, um, there is actually a bit of a difference, but um, I think either or will work all right. Um, so we're going to do 11 by 17. We want to make sure it's centered. And we want to click zoom, not fit to page. I'm just going to click centered again. We want to do zoom to 100%. Um, basically what this is going to do is ignore the page margins. So typically a page will have um, a quarter inch kind of around the border of the sheet, a quarter to a half an inch I guess around the border of the sheet. and that's what's causing the sheet to, I guess, shrink inside the page. Um, so we're just going to do that. And I'm going to go over here and click save this. I'm going to save this as 11 by 17. And that way, we'll just need to verify these settings in the future, but the settings will be saved in here. And this setting is actually saved in the project, not in Revit itself. So every time you do a, a new project, you will have to fix that. Or if you have a template, just make, making sure it's set up in the template and then you just have to come in here to verify. So now that I've done that, I'm going to click OK. And it'll be a few minutes, uh, maybe, maybe not a few minutes. Just let it go here. I'm going to click Cancel. And it'll give us a pop-up here in a second. I'm just going to save this as test 2. And we'll open up that PDF that we just printed. And you can see compared to the previous one that it prints right to the edge. So that's how you properly print a PDF in Revit.